Hello viewers, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Opera Chuma Glory and this is Glotora Extra. So today I'll be showing us how to make a 3D logo on Pixel Lab. If you have been looking for a way to make a very nice logo on Pixel Lab due to the processor of your phone, just keep watching this video to the end and you will see how to make a 3D logo on your phone using Pixel Lab. Without wasting much of our time, let's get right into the video. So I'll go ahead and import my design. Note that you have to make a design on your own, but me, I will just go ahead to make the video short for everyone to understand. So now I'll go ahead and import my own design. important my design and it's a transparent design it's already in the PNG so I don't need to remove any background I'll just go ahead and do my 3d logo so now I'll go to the background section of this pixel lab and then I'll be changing because we are making a 3d wall logo this is the background for the wall logo and then I'll apply it so now this is design like i say we'll be using and then i'll go ahead and change the texture of this design so this is the texture i'll be using for this design and you can use the default color if you want to but i'll be using this for this tutorial so now i'll go to the emboss and apply the emboss effect on it Sorry, I think the app is misbehaving, so I have to exit and come back. And we are back into the app, and then I'll go ahead and apply the emboss effect. So I'll take the, this light angle here to 22 degree. Okay, then I'll go and take the intensity to 60. Then the ambient light will be at 70. The peculiar hardness will be at either 42 or 33. Let's check 42 or oh, 33. Is it too much for it? I think let's go with 33. So the bevel will be at 100. Okay. First of all, let's try with this color. You know, in the previous video that the embers misbehave, I changed the texture, but let's go ahead and see what the difference would be like. And what the difference would be so now I'll just go ahead and tap ok and then I'll go to the 3d effect the 3d shape effect but first of all I will love us to import our background then we can start applying the 3d effect So this is what oblique looks like.
Mm, but I won't be going for oblique, I'll go for perspective. And then the depths, we can take it forward. But this is okay. Then increase the darkness. We darken to 77. Let's see full. Okay, if you're using a colored one, you can take it to 100. Okay, it's fine like this. Let's give it an 85. Then the X rotation. No. The X rotation 25 or 24. Then for the Y rotation, we should have something like this. Then for the Z rotation, I think this is okay. Oh. Alright, I think this is okay. And then we'll go back to the shadow effect. It should either be let's try with the color of the logo. It's not nice. So let's go with black. Then we can make the blur effect, blur ridges. Maybe seven or so, seven, and then sorry, the offset Y. Whoa, it's too much. So five is okay, and then the let's see. No, 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 no. Let's take it to five also. Six. Okay, let's take this back to two. Let's see. So we are getting something and then okay. So I'll go ahead and screenshot this because i can't save it if i save it i don't know what's wrong with the embos on pixel lab so i'll just go ahead and screenshot screenshot it so we'll compare so now let's go ahead and change the texture on it so this is what we have with the texture so now i will I'll drop the two images for you to compare so you know the one you work with or the one you prefer the most so if you have watched this video to the end please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video